Welcome back everybody, this is Luis back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the best way to install Node.js on Mac and Linux. There's the same package available for Windows as well. So the concept that we're going to talk about is how do we control the version of Node we install on Mac or Ubuntu or any Linux distribution. For example, if you download from uh, node.js.org let's say this is the latest package right now 12.18.3 lts version i can download this and install node but the problem is that i'm gonna have only this version okay so for example if you're working on multiple projects and let's just say one of the project uses old node let's just say node version 8 and it's only compatible with that then it's going to be a little bit of problem for you because you have installed this 12.18.3. So I'm going to be showing you how do we install node using NVM. NVM stands for node version manager. So instead of installing it by using this package, I'm going to take you to terminal and in terminal, I'm going to first of all, check for a node version. Now I don't have a node version installed. So if I did, I have to remove that. I will put some scripts in the description of this video. You can use those to actually uninstall a node version, the current version that you have installed. Now there is a curl command that you can find in the description of the video to actually install NVN. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that command. So basically curl, space dash o dash and then https and this is the url that you need to bring this script uh credit goes to this guy who has created this script so yeah i'm gonna press enter now i forgot to use uh sudo so it's going to probably ask me that i need to type the password in okay so that's fine it didn't really ask me the type the password so next thing what we need to do is we need to put some environment variables in our Z assets file. So I'm going to copy the script and then paste that here as well. And then it's basically going to export NVM directory dollar home slash dot NVM. And then it, I will be able to use NVM from command line. So you'll find this script in the description of this video as well. Press enter and this that's it, job done. Now let's talk about what you can do with NVM. So I'm gonna type NVM dash dash version. NVM dash dash version, there you go. So the version that we have installed is 0.32.1. So how do we install a node using NVM? So what I can do is use NVM install command and I can define the version that I want to install. So I'll go and see what is the latest version here. So 12.18.3 is the latest version, right? So what I'm going to do is type V 12.18.3. And then I'm going to give a flag dash dash LTS. So that's long term supported version. Press return on a Mac or enter on a uh, Ubuntu. That's about it. It's going to actually download the node version, set up the environment variable for me, and I could see what are the installed node version that I have in the current system. Okay, so it says now using node 12.18.3. Cool, so if I type node dash dash version, there you go, we got version 12.18.3. Now what if I want to use node version 8 for one of the project? So what I can do is use nvm install, and I'm gonna define V8, okay? And I can even specify the full version if I want to install, but for now I'm gonna just say V8, and it's going to download node version eight for me as well. And then I'll show you how you can switch between versions using NVM. So this is one of the cool thing about NVM. So you can switch between, uh, you know, node version and you can define even dot NV NVM RC file, which basically takes some configuration, which can automatically switch the node version depending on the project that you open. So right now, if I type NVM LS, 
it tells me what are the versions are installed. So I can see there's a version 12.18.3, there's a version 8.7.0. So that's cool. I'm going to install NVM install version 10.11.0 as well. As you can see, it's pretty fast. Now I'm using version 10.11.0 because I just installed it. Now I want to switch back to the latest one. So first of all, use NVM LS. And this is the version that I want to get to 12.18.3. So I'll use the command NVM use 12.18.3. It will find out if this is already downloaded. Otherwise, it will go and find and install this version as well. So I press enter and it, it says now using the old version 12.18.3. So that's cool, right? Now, all of these versions are isolated. So if you install something in the latest version, you will not be able to use that uh, package in the other version of, no other version of uh, Node that you installed. For example, I'm going to type npm install dash g. I'm going to install angular dash cli. Now we switched to 12.18.3 and I'm installing angular cli globally to that version. And then I will switch back to version 8 or 10 and I see if angular is there. So let's let wait for this to finish. No, I don't want to tell Google what I'm doing. So if I type now ng dash dash version, I can see the Angular CLI is there. So that's version 10.0.6. So that's good. If I type NVM use, uh, I kind of forgot the name. So NVM LS, so that's version 10.11.0. Okay, so we'll use that. So NVM use v10.11.0, enter. And that's it. You can see that we have this version now uh, enabled. I'm going to type ng space dash dash version. And it's going to tell me, hey, ng command is not available because this is not installed on uh, node version 10. Now, this way, you can install any kind of packages that you want on specific version. Now, if you want to refresh your node, delete all the packages, all you have to do is just remove that particular node version. So right now we have version 8.17.0, which I don't need anymore. So I'll type NVM uninstall and I'll type V8.17.0. Enter. And now it's going to uninstall that version. So whatever the package that installed globally on that, it will be gone. So if I type now NVM LS, there it goes. We only have version 10 and 12.18.3. So I'll try to put all these scripts into the description of this video. So make sure you check that out. Now, another thing that I want to show you here is, for example, I will open Visual Studio Code. And here I'm going to create a new project. So for example, I'll just create a temporary project there. So I'm going to rename that to temporary. And I'm going to open that in Real Studio Code. Temporary. Open that. And then what I'm going to do here is let me just zoom in a bit. Open Terminal. And here I'm going to use NPN in it. And I'll just leave everything default so that we have a package.json file. I'm going to use touch command to use nvmrc file. And here inside that, I'm going to specify the version that I'm going to use for this particular project. So what I can do now is I'll use this 10.11.0 that I've just installed. Then I'm going to type a command here, nvm use, and then nvm install. If it's not there, then it will install it. And then also nvm exec then nvm run and then we can specify which version that i'm using in this project so i can say nvm which okay so all this is going to do a lot of things for me now if i just close this terminal okay and open up a new terminal now if i just say nvm use it will find my nvmrc file 
and you'll see I'm trying to use this particular uh, node version and then it will run this command and now if I go to node dash dash version I can see I am using version 10.11.0 so using nmrc file you can even do a script to actually run this uh, which will probably make it easier for you but you can see that the nvmrc file is really good that you can specify once and then you don't have to worry about which version of the node that you were using with this project. So there's a lot of commands that you can do with nvm. So if I tap nvm dash dash help, it will show me all the available commands that I can use. So I would highly recommend to take a look at these commands and understand what they do. All you have to do is just type the command, for example, nvm unload. So what we can do is if I do nvm unload, instead of just pressing enter now, I'll do dash dash help. Okay. Uh, and then it will, okay, there's no help uh, or log message for this. So that should be fine. But some of the commands should have those log messages which actually actually telling you right here. So if you do NVM help, it's actually telling right here. This is not really a huge uh, utility that has millions of commands. There's not much. So that's why they probably put it here. Okay. So that's about it uh, for this video, guys. I hope you like it. If you did like it, subscribe to the channel. Talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.